This is my first time here at the Service Business Edge. My impressions of the events is just, it's, it's so well put together. It's uh, really blowing my mind. Just the energy that Mike brings is absolutely out of this world. It's incredible. If, you, if you're just started out and you're making a dollar or, or you own 20 businesses and you're doing 250 million a year, I'm not impressed. I'm not. You know what impresses me? What impresses me is the person that's in the room that's so willing to learn, so humble, and just wants to go for the greatest happiness for themselves and the greatest happiness for their family. I didn't know what I was walking into. Uh, my partner introduced me to this whole concept and I said, let's run with it. If you believe in it, let's run with it. And I'm here and I'm, I'm loving that I followed his lead on it. We're uh, excited to be here. We're excited about growing our business to another level. Four days completely timelined out to perfection. Back in the days when we were roughing houses and doing electrical work, right? Because that's how we got into this industry, right? We're electricians. And just like probably most of you, there's no formal college education up here. There's no Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science or Master's degrees. Everything we have and everything we know, we learned firsthand in this industry, okay? So we're bringing it to you real and raw. It's not book stuff, it's firsthand knowledge. I've tried every possible way in uh, the 10,000 ways that don't work. Found them all, so I'm looking for the way that works. That's why I'm here. And uh, one of the things we know is that uh, our business is never going to outgrow our personal growth. So that's one of the things we liked about CEO Warrior versus some of the other groups that uh, we've participated in. Being the kind of person that, that's always into reading books and learning and stuff like that, um, you know, you don't you don't really find a lot of people in the service industry that does what Mike does. So yeah, for me, it, it was almost like a godsend because I kind of felt like, well, you know what, this guy kind of does what I do, but at the same time, he does it at a much bigger level. We started our own business about a year ago, um, still on the early stages of developing it and uh, expanding. So when we came here, um, our big struggle has been finding key, key players, key journeymen, a good team, a good fit. Our, our company doesn't have a whole lot of uh, upper management and my goal is to push upper management to to bring that stuff home. Well, I think we're looking to um, develop expectations. I think that we know that you know just based on where we are, we know that our expectations are probably too low, and so we're looking to raise our expectations. The biggest expectation that I have right now is um, mindset uh, is in the right place. I'm looking for some tools to, for growth. My thoughts of I was overbuilding and getting it too large, I've way undersized it. Um, with what we're learning and what we're taking away from this, um, we're going to have an exploding rest of the year and next year is going to be even better. He hit the nail on the head when he said so many businesses, like we're so excited when we got going and we became successful and then maybe a year or two after. It's like he said, you almost get the feeling where you just want to run away and, and say ridiculous things like, uh, it was better before we got bigger, you know? Um, so a lot of people obviously have felt that and um, all the information that he gives to prevent that is just, it's awesome. I wish we would have had it just about a, a year or two ago before because yeah. we could have been in that next range by now, I think. Been poking at this for seven years, and uh, we we know how to survive, but uh, knowing how to thrive is a little bit different. You know, we we've kind of been at this this rut where we've been stuck from you know about a million million five, and you know we're we're just kind of wondering why why we've been stuck, and you know after being here, it's kind of a lot more clear to us that you know systems need to be implemented. A lot of goals and that I'm trying to trying to reach right now is you know basically just taking my my father's business and just wanting to take it to the next level and I think just being in my dad's company now for like a year um, I helped out in, in high school and back then there's no way I would have ever worked for him um, but through CEO Warrior he, it's he's a totally different person um, I mean both <laughs> business yeah. business in the business and also at home we were a small company and we kind of shrunk down because my grandfather was thinking about retirement 
and then my father decided to go into the business. So he's been growing it ever since, working his butt off. I respect the man uh, 100%. He's the most honest man I've ever met in my life. And I, I try to hold myself as high as a standard as, as he does. I guess some of my expectations coming into this was just to like better learn how I can do my job in helping um, the company expand into different horizons, uh, <coughs> increase revenue and profit and, uh, through marketing. We, we were very uh, unclear as far as what kind of role I should take in the company. Um, and through CEO Warrior, through the coaching with both mics, um, it's really helped us to kind of align better and um, it's helped provide me clarity on more of like what the purpose in the company, um, what I should bring to the company. When, when I'm here, the only thing I'm thinking about is furthering ourselves as a family, myself as a person, and the business as a whole. Um, I think like the biggest takeaway that I've gotten so far is just the, like how important your mindset is, um, how to get like how important it is to have that warrior mindset where nothing's going to stop you from achieving what you really want to achieve in life or where you want your business to be at in the next three to five years. Everything, if you create the steps for making decisions and use it for all decision-making processes, it, it allows you to do it in a way that it's right for you, right for your business, right for your customer, right for your employees, right? And you want to always create what I call a win-win-win situation. It has to win for the company, win for the customer, and win for your employees. I had talked to a gentleman in Miami. He seemed like a pretty dynamic person, and so I started asking him about his business. And he mentioned that um, one of the things that helped him grow is he went up to New Jersey and saw Mike. And I said, well, who's Mike? I Googled Mike and uh, started watching some of his podcasts. I got some of his books. And I've been following him for probably about a year. I just decided I, I got to come here. Um, I went to an IE3 uh, meeting in New Orleans last summer, and and Mike has actually spoke um, at that meeting. I first found out about CEO Warrior. Uh, I saw Mike at the WAC show in Indianapolis. And I um, you know, heard about CEO Warrior probably about two years ago. I found, I, yeah, found Mike Aguilero on uh, YouTube. You know, heard about him and you know, just got intrigued by him and just figured I'd come out and check it out. You know, I started out reading the books and it's, you know, I've tried to reach out to Mike and you know, hey, I just, I need this little piece to get me to uh, you know, I've already paid for the class. I'm, I'm committed. I'm coming. I just need this little piece to get me going. And you know, he explains it. It's like you're missing more than this little piece. Trust me. You know, if you can just make it until you get here, we're gonna fill in the blanks. And first day, we're just completely blown away. So yell out a couple things if you were just to think. If I could do that faster, or I can do it faster, what would you do faster? Estimates, which just so you know, uh, write down the word estimate. Who said that? You said that? Write down the word estimates. Write it down. You could all write it down if you want. Write down the word estimates. As soon as you write it down, I want you to cross it out. And I want you to ever use the word again, okay? And I want you to use any other word, consultations, ad advising, whatever you want. And just so you know, all of you that use, and be honest with me, who uses the words estimates in their company? A lot of you. The term estimate translates into compete. Higher board break was awesome. You know, I've never ever done, I've never done that before. Oh my God, yeah, that was amazing. I mean, well, you know, you always see stuff like that on TV, right? But at the same time, until you actually break a board yourself, <laughs> you don't think you can do it. At the end of the night, I actually wrote something on the tablet that I've never shared with anyone. And I didn't even know that the board was going to be lit on fire. So when I saw my words uh, go up in flames, number one, 
I've never broken through a board, so I was like, how is this going to feel? Let alone when I saw the flames, I, it, it just it turned me into someone else that I've never seen before. Um, I thought my, I was going to pull my arm out of my socket because uh, my, I went right through the board. It was like nothing was there. And everything I wrote on there was on fire and broke. When I wrote down all of the, all of those mind-limiting beliefs and I saw them on fire and I looked at it as though there's no shot that this board isn't going to break. Having a lot of things pent up inside you and just having a chance to release it, that's huge. You, know, you really can't put a price on that. So, so yes sir, first when I first walked up to the board, I, I, you know, I saw the flame on the board, I'm like, why am I going to burn my hand and stuff like that. But obviously once I did it, I mean everything, it went good, I broke the board and, and again it was, it was liberating, I can tell you that. I knew right then and there that those were just simply mind, mind limiting beliefs and they were gonna just disappear. And I felt very relieved. I felt as though there was a weight lifted off my shoulder once I broke through that board and released that energy. We were all in this room together for 18 hours and we were already a family. People cheering for each other. It was just so intense, but so weightlifting. The second that board was broke, a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I knew exactly what had to be done. What we were gonna go home and do um, is phenomenal. It was never been anything a part of anything like that last night. You can't be great unless everyone in your company sees a connection to what they do to the outcome. Oh, that's so huge. And you really have to, you have to show Write everyone that, that oh it doesn't God. matter what you do, the way you answer the phone, the way you care. You gotta have everybody be on a crusade or a mission where no matter how far theoretically removed from the end result might be, they see relevancy, connection, and meaning that they're still part of it. The more you can achieve that, the more powerful your machine will be. The word that I love using is congruence. Like yeah. you, congruence from top to bottom, top to bottom. So, you know, when I had boardroom, you know, I had 100 employees or 80 employees and the people who were on the front lines in customer service knew everything that I knew. You know, do you love these customers or do you hate them? And here's the irony. Sometimes this number one customer up top is like a big cringe. It's like, yeah, they pay me a lot of money, but they are really not my type of people. Other ones are like, yeah, I love them. Love them, them kind of, mm, I don't know, this one is so bad, I'm like puking, ah, right? Rank them. It's the intersection of the customers that pay you the most and you like the most who are the ones we want to clone. The amount of I've learned in these last couple days has just been through the roof. Um, joining the World Circle only about three, four weeks ago, we're already back home, adding numbers, adding numbers to the profit lines. Um, it's going great. I haven't been through a training like this or a part of a group like this since I was in the Marines. And my biggest thing that I found in this room was there's a lot of people that actually enjoy what they do, but it's, uh, they're a slave to it. If, uh, if I were to talk to myself five years ago, the way you would have sold me at a come, coming to an event like this is you're going to have kids, you're going to have a wife, and, um, you're gonna to wanna to have time to spend with them, so you should probably learn how to run your business before you get yourself too deep. So I mean, there's a lot of people on the internet trying to sell you something. Everybody has a course, everybody has books, everybody, you know, everybody's a public speaker. You know, one thing about it, especially like in a service industry, you know, you know, there's a lot of books out there that give you information, but at the same time, but it's nobody that ever really talks about what we actually do. Because being, being like in a blue collar field, there's not many people that actually service what we do. Absolutely, would definitely recommend any business owner to come here. Um, I have a lot of business owners that look at me like I'm crazy. And they're like, why are you so over the top? Why are you, because that's just what it takes. And uh, where I wanna go and the legacy that I wanna build is right in line with CEO Warrior. The, the resources here um, are just, just none available in any other group I've ever been in, um, up to date, 
modern. There for our use, What's, whatever we need. If we can't find it, uh, Matt's done it, I've done it, uh, one of our other directors have done it. We reach out to any one of the advisors and they're there for us. They're either calling us back, emailing us back, texting us, or sending us the material needed. So it's nice to have that unlimited resource. You will never get an experience this reasonable at this price, you know, where you can be around people that that's actually done what you're trying to do and sold for a big exit. I mean, I mean you just can't put a price on that. So, so again, so I would tell anybody, you know, yeah, it's good to read books, it's good to go to other various seminars, but the problem is, is that they're giving you general information. Nobody gives you actual detailed information like these guys do here. So I would say, just the cost of admission, I mean, you'll save so much time and so much money in just a short period of time. I highly recommend CEO Warrior. You know, it, it really shows you that anything is possible, you know. Sure, your, your father's been there to hand you down a, a business, but realistically, it's it's not just handed to you. It's, it's something that you have to work hard towards. And, you know, like me, I'm not, I'm not a college-educated student, but, you know, coming here and seeing what's going on, the movement that's happening, it's, it's really driving me to want to continue my father's business and grow it to its capacity seeing what I can do, seeing what I can implement with the power and strength that I have. I haven't fought like this since I exited the Marines. I mean, I'm ready to go home and take charge. I'm gonna take this knife and just go home and slice the competition. There is nobody standing in our way. It's kill or be killed. And if you wanna build your company and you wanna learn how to do it, this is the group to come to.